All right, also new tonight, President Joe Biden is planning to go to Israel on Wednesday. The president will meet with Israeli leaders. He is also expected to travel to Jordan to meet with the Palestinian president. More than 2,800 people have been killed in Gaza and 1,400 have died in Israel since the fighting started a little over a week ago between Israel and Hamas. The Pentagon has ordered roughly 2,000 U.S. troops to prepare for potential deployment to Israel, but this would be for medical and logistical support. Back here in Milwaukee, Catholic leaders are praying for peace tonight and lifting up those caught in the war zone. TMJ4's Miriam McCarr talked to the Archbishop and parishioners. Filled pews to pray for peace in the Middle East. During a time where war overseas can make people here at home feel helpless, parishioners at the Cathedral of St. John came together to lift up those suffering through faith. Well, it was important to provide a space first to make a statement that, you know, that we, we stand against, you know, violence, we stand against terrorism. And what better place is there than the comfort of home? The church is home. Archbishop Listecki leading the downtown Milwaukee church in an hour of prayer against the violence happening overseas. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. It comes as the death toll in Gaza and Israel continues to rise amid war with Hamas. Israeli diplomats on Monday saying there's no ceasefire in sight. To love your neighbor um, as you want to be loved um, and to treat others the way you want to be treated. It's the golden rule, it's in the Ten Commandments. The horrible images of war, what brought Patrick Donahue to the pews Monday night. That moved me to come because it's, it's so apparent uh, and my response is only can be prayer. I think in times where we see faith being lost and with the division of war, uh, it's an important to give us a morals, give us a, a, a roadmap to to weigh our live our lives. The Archbishop agreeing with the power of prayer. We as people of faith turn to God and the way you turn to God is in prayer. His message was a simple one. His message was not war and violence. His message was peace and love. Peace, people across the world, hope and pray come soon. In Milwaukee, Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News.